this will be the people news. Alright, so this video is without prejudice or recourse, and I'm not an attorney, I'm not going to give you legal advice. Alright, <clears throat> and may give my opinion, my opinion only, but not legal advice because I'm not an attorney. That's why. Alright, never, never, never look just straight forward. Always look around you, be able to protect yourself by any means necessary. That's including financial. Alright, the less the government knows, the better off you will be. Alright, so this video is uh, a guy turning in his license plate back to the DMV. And this will give you an idea of what his process was when he did it. Hey. Hello, how you doing? Good. Yeah, good. I'm here to surrender this plate. Surrender? Yeah, yes. Yeah. I have an application too that I filled out online. No, no, I still have it. Just the, the plate is assigned to me, but I don't, I'm just surrendering it. So I have the documentation just basically saying that I'm surrendering the, the plate. I'm Jerron, yes, yeah. Are you planning on getting some other kind of plate? Yeah, well, I, yeah, I have a uh, private plate for it. Do you have Sarah? She did? Okay. I can help you, sir. You have a private plate? Yeah. Yeah. Do you have one that you're going to put on the vehicle? Yeah. Yeah. No, it's, it's not a, a motor. It's not a Department of Motor Vehicle issue plate. It's my own private plate that I'm going to put on it. Nah, yeah, well, well, no, no, it's, it's that, you know how these plates are signed to you? Well, you're contracted as a motor vehicle driver, but motor vehicle is commercial. So when you drive privately, like going back and forth to work and things like that, you don't need this. So that, that's where it's, it's a long story, but. <laughs> all right, all right. You said, you said line two? All right. Yeah, I'm here to surrender this plate. I have a application I filled out online. I just made two copies. Okay, so are you surrendering it to someone? Uh, no, just to give, turning it back to the DMV. Oh, uh, we don't need it back. Let me see what, what it looks like real quick. Typically, this is uh, if you are like wanting to release like the plate number. Yeah, I basically just don't. Oh, okay. I just don't want it in my name any longer. That's pretty much. What the attend is. Um, did you sell the key that it was attached to? Uh, no, I still haven't. So what plate do you have on it? I'm going to have a private plate on it. Okay. Like private plate? Mm -hmm. Uh, it would be a non-issue DMV plate. It would be my own private plate. I'm not familiar on how that would work. Oh, okay. Well, that's, that's a long story. <laughs> I'm yeah. not familiar with how private plates work. I don't know. Yeah. Um, I'd have to ask them what to do with that because we should have a record. So you do something with, like, law enforcement so they're aware of that? Or? Uh, no, just a private plate. I just don't want that plate no longer in my name. So. Okay. So it'll stay in your name, but we can pull it off the vehicle. But if I pull the vehicle off, then you, the police run what's on there. It's not going to be attached to the car you're driving. Right. So, so what are you, what are you able to do with this? I because do. you know how each plate is like assigned to the, the actual person. Mm -hmm. So I just don't want it. I just want it out of my name. So I'm not transferring to anybody. I just want it. Jeez. I mean, I can pull That's it off the I... car, but it'll still have your name on it. It just won't be assigned to any vehicle. Oh, okay. Okay. And the only other way it would be to give it to somebody else and let them take over it. I mean, that's what this form does. No, oh, okay. Um, 
but I'm not sure how private plates work. We don't have it registered. Law enforcement uses what we have on the system. Right, right. Yes, it's, it's a long story. It has to do with commercial driving and stuff like that. So being that my, my car is not used for commercial purposes, that's the reason why I'm giving that back. Because that's what that represents, basically, that is being used for commercial purposes. Well, that's just a normal stop plate for the passenger vehicle. Correct, correct. But it's still commercial, though. Basically, I'm just, I no longer want to be contract. <laughs> All right, so she said kind of like normal passenger vehicle, but that's still a commercial term. So. You're with the DMV, that's why I'm bringing it back. Okay, so we don't take them back. So the only thing I can do is pull it off the vehicle that it's currently registered to. Oh, okay. But then you'll be driving the vehicle that's not registered. Okay, that, that's fine. Okay. So let me check with my boss on that before I do that. Okay. Because if you get a ticket and I did that, then it's going to look really bad. So okay. let, me, let me ask her what she's supposed to do, okay? Okay. I understand. And, and if I pull your plate, if your plate gets pulled off and you're still driving this, law enforcement's going to run the plate you have on there and it's not going to be attached to your car. That's, the, you, that's, the, that's the whole point because it's, it's a private vehicle, that's why. Okay. Well, that's not something we can do for you. Okay, so what? I, so you guys going to keep, because I'm, I'm about to take that off and mm -hmm. then I no longer want that in my name, so I can't be forced to have that. Well, that'd so. be up to you. I know, but I, well, can't, I can't pull a plate off a car that's still yours. I understand. So with this, so what I'm asking, I'm not. So all I'm saying is, I'm I'm surrendering this plate. I no longer want this assigned to me. Mm -hmm. well, I'll a, have to send that on because the okay. car still belongs to you. So if you don't want this plate, then we typically put another plate on it. You have to have a plate on your car to register well, in the state of Arizona. No, you, you well, you know. But I understand your position. Well, but what you you're know. asking me to do is illegal. No, no. What I'm asking you to do is take this out of my name. Right. So you that's want not me illegal. To pull a plate off a car that you're driving. No, no, ma'am. Look. It specifically says that I'm surrendering this plate to the DMV, right. and here's the plate number. So this that's is used to give this plate to somebody else, it but I would replace it with this one. The option is not on there. Right. But you I can't take a plate off a car without putting another one on it. Oh, what I'm saying is take it off my name. I'm not saying take it off my car. Right, and I can't do that. Because so here's the thing. You have to go to them. Because these plates are assigned mm -hmm. to the person, is it not the car? They it's are like, assigned like, to like you if and I, the car. Like it's because if I wanted to, mm -hmm. I can say, hey, take this plate. And put it on. I can pretty much put it on any car I want, mm -hmm. as long as I've notified you guys, because it's assigned to me, not any particular vehicle. You guys put it on whatever I request for you guys to put it on to, right? So what I'm saying is, each plate, and I looked up the statute, they're assigned to the person. Right. So all I'm saying is, I don't want it. Okay. And, but you're telling me, I'm forced to have it, and that's not that's I that's mean, against the law. What I'm saying is, you don't. I can't leave. Let you leave without a plate on your. Remember. <clears throat> A couple of videos back, they cannot force you to contract. Your car. No, no, there's because a plate if on I it. take this plate off and let you walk out the door, a cop runs your your vehicle. And well, that's something for me to deal with. That ain't right. got nothing to do with but DMV. It comes back on me as to why I took that plate off for no reason. Okay, so what is the next step? Because so I now to, I'm going to forward it to our special plate and title maintenance, mm -hmm. so they can see what they can do for you. Okay, and what's the your phone number? Is that correct? Correct. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to request that they look into this for you mm -hmm. and maybe get in contact with you. Okay. And because how long does that normally take? I, that I don't know. This okay. is very unique. But it's never been asked. Yeah, before. yeah. It's, it's because it's, it's all of this is all have to. This whole system is all to do with commercial. Okay. That's that's what it is. Regardless if you want to say, oh, that's a private. Just because it doesn't say commercial, that's still commercial. So by me being contracted with see I didn't, I don't longer have a license you can look it up I, mm -hmm. I, sur I surrender that mm -hmm. because I'm no longer contracted so therefore I'm not entitled to the registration fees paying this every year three five what thousand dollars every you don't pay taxes at all no it's all now that's also voluntary but that's something you want to do your research on so I, I don't I, I pay my taxes <laughs> but yeah, what I can do yeah. is forward this on but I, I it will be up to them what they do with it at this okay. level I don't I don't have any control over that Okay, no, I just want to, that's right. cool, because I mean... The only thing I could do is pull the car off, then you'd be with a plateless car. And that, then, that, is, that is the whole and point. So the name would still be attached to the plate. No, no, that, that's fine. Um, 
So I'm gonna take. So now, now I wanted a copy for myself. I yeah. brought two copies. Sure. Yeah. But I do. I would like to have it some type of something that this was received by them because I didn't send it certified mail. Then I would so. have you do it. Okay. What do you want? What you want me to put? I would. If you're gonna, oh, if just, you want to receive, then I would mail it yourself, certified. Say what? Well, you just lost me. I'm sorry. Okay. So if you want a receipt that they received it, you need to mail it certified. No, I'm saying I just want some type of confirmation that I gave it to you. Oh. That's all. Like sometimes they put like uh like when I turn in my license they put like their ID you number like on the top right number. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Just just showing because that way when I want to check on it then they say oh I never received it I have some type of information thing that I that I did bring it in. You know what I mean? Now, that being said, <clears throat> he's going to turn the tag back, all right? However, when the tags are due again, they're going to actually send him a letter. What you're going to have to do is do a certified letter, send it back to where um, they mailed it from, right? Certified it back and said, uh, refuse to contract, void contract, contract denied in big red letters on that page and send it back. This is new to a lot of people because they, they only, you're only taught what they teach you, but they don't teach you the real deal. Okay. So you sure you don't want to keep? Oh, no, I don't want to keep that at all. That don't, I'm, I'm positive of that. So I will send that along and they will be in touch with you on what they can do for you. Okay, sounds good. And now what is that other form under there? This is our print screen. Oh, I got you. Okay, gotcha. Okay. Yep. Alrighty, have a good day. You too. Alrighty, bye bye. So, anyway, as you can see, uh, they're all brainwashed. They don't really know. No one can't really be mad at them. They don't know what the deal is. There's his private tag. All right. <clears throat> that being said, I may figure out some way, whether it's above that tag or whatever, uh, go ahead and put the VIN number on there. You know, just so they don't come up to your dash and want to look inside your window. Uh, remember anything they see in a vehicle, they still can do whatever they want to do, right? So you want to kind of keep them from looking less as possible in there, okay? 18-wheelers uh, uh, had the VIN numbers on written on the side of their trucks. So, you know, stick right above that license plate, underneath the license plate or whatever, um, the VIN number. Okay, that's what I suggest. Now, again, it's just my opinion, but they can type in that VIN and do the research automatically and don't have to sign that flashlight or look real close at your dash and may see or see not something in there that they did not need to see. All right, this will be the people news. Bye, y'all. There it is, ladies. <laughs>